last two, three games where he's looked stronger, looked more confident. Could you sense something, some sort of an outbreak coming for him tonight? Well, I told you the other day that uh, when I put him on wing, he got some touches. Um, he, he, we talked. He said he felt he felt more involved. He was around the net. Uh, we end up putting him back to center, but I think he's played well uh, the past few games. Maybe not the way you control this game up for the game, but no. just, just how heavily did did you just need a result? Yeah, and, 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 and it was probably goes unnoticed. But uh, we defended our ass off because we spent so much time in our end zone. I know we only have six shots, but I think they have uh, 15 or 16 through almost two periods there too. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time in our end zone, but we did a really good job defending. No one will talk about that, uh, but it gave us a chance. Uh, we had a good third period. Point now, when you put the power play out there, you're you're, you're confident in, in, in what they're going to do. Are you see, are you seeing enough of a result now? Where it's it, it's not me, it's them. I think they feel confident, and uh, um, I think the one of the biggest changes this year is there's there's a lot more movement. It not just stuck in your position. It, it is a lot more. I think TK has uh, found an area as a bumper that he doesn't. He gets out of there at times. Mish is swinging. I, I think they're reading off of one another very well. It's not as stagnant as it was last year. Yeah, with Cam York being out, you talk about you know, defending well for most of the game. I mean, it does say a lot about the team, about your defensive core. The Cam, Cam well. York, it, it is such a huge hole. It, it, from where he was uh, my first year to what he means to this team right now, it's such a huge hole. So yes, it's a, it's a credit to our six. Uh, and, and to the forwards against a really good hockey team, a very balanced offensive hockey team, uh, to hang in there and hang in there because they spent so many minutes there uh, not to break. Bent uh, a little bit, but didn't break. And that, I think that's the story of us getting two points with those minutes when we just could get no offense, no flow, uh, giving us a chance to stay involved in the game. And obviously the quick start helped with two goals. Every time they scored, it seemed like it, in previous games, maybe the team collapsed a little bit on that. But now they, they kept pushing and pushing every yeah. time Minnesota came back. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 I hope it can springboard some guys. Uh, taking way too many penalties. It, I mean, it's ridiculous the penalties we're taking. We lead the league in uh, being down as far as the minutes down in, a, in, in the league. Uh, but we end up finding a way to win a crazy game. How much of an impact does it have, trickle down effect, when he can be that top of the lineup center in terms of impact? I've been looking for centers, right, for two or three years since I've been here. Who's going to take over the number one center? Who's the second center? Uh, and it, it goes right into this year. Uh, what Sean has done here after he was put on wing uh, and come back into the middle, uh, I hope it continues. And, but that's a, that's a constant theme of mine. You guys piss and moan about all the line changes. I have to figure out centers uh, because sometimes it's it just a struggle to find someone that's playing well enough. Yeah, how much did you give Lachenko on, on his way down? Did you chat, chat with him at all? And that he should be proud of himself. Uh, I think Jet, uh, uh, EJ told me because he was living with EJ, he brought clothes for 10 days, right? Uh, he didn't think he was going to be here this long. Uh, he should be proud of him. His parents should be proud of him. Uh, he he was not he was taken out of the lineup not because of his play. Uh, we had discussions and we were pretty we were pretty much in favor. We eventually he was going to go back uh, before those nine games, and the mess that our team was in. Uh, I, I didn't. I wanted to get to our team that I knew was going to be here uh, to try to figure some stuff out. Have we yet? No. Uh, but that's the reason why we didn't sit Jet, uh, play Jet. Um, talked to his coach today, his junior coach Stiller, who I coached back in Tampa. Had a great conversation about what we're looking for from him. Uh, he should be, he should feel so good about what's happened uh, as far as the time he spent with us. Kind of interesting. Some of the guys were saying that they hadn't lost belief in each other, even though you guys were in the middle of that losing streak. You see how excited they are whenever you know someone scores tonight. From a coaching perspective. What does that say to you about you know their resilience, their bounce back, and how much you know they fight for each other to help each other? 
Th that's what th that's what carried us last year uh, through bumps and and uh, you know playing really 82 games that meant uh, meant a lot um, is the, is the locker room and how they handle themselves. Uh, um, it, it, when you're in a situation that we're in right now at the beginning of the year when this all hits us, uh, we will we will not get out of it if we start finger pointing, uh, if we start whispering, uh, all the stuff that comes. Uh, with egos and uh, blaming, uh, that doesn't happen in that room. We we will not get out of this if it even cracks, and I have full confidence that uh, that's something we'll never have to talk about. Regard to the chemistry between TK and Michkov, mm -hmm. what pleased you the most of that top line? They scored some goals. I mean, they have chemistry. I knew they had chemistry. I. I I mean, you guys can see it when we when they played together earlier, exhibition or whenever. But I, I did not. If Mish didn't feel comfortable on on left wing, uh, and I wanted him to get his feet wet and not put him in situations where he can't grow early on. Uh, but it got to the point where the the lack of offense and the lack of just struggling offensively, we needed to put him put TK on the left wing. TK is not crazy about left wing, uh, but when you see those two guys play, they're never on their wing. Uh, and, and that's the that's the greatest thing about hockey. You can, you can be a designated left winger, but the the way the game flows, you can be all over the place. And that's the way TK plays. That's the way Mish plays. Uh, so, you know, we'll 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 stay with it. And I think Coots has added a stability there. Coots didn't lose a face off in the third period. I used him on all the dots uh, in our end zone in the third period. Uh, hopefully, that can uh, stay consistent. We get some other people going. Has really been going to the net. Like, can you appreciate? <laughs> like, he understands. Like, that's how you got to score. Yeah, yeah. It, it, he he's a different player than uh, Mish and TK. Yeah. He's not going to be flying around the play. He's going to have to get into the areas, and he doesn't score the other night. But he puts the screen on the goalie for Mish. So, uh, it's something we uh, we've said it from day one with you guys. We're concentrating on trying to score around the blue. Uh, Coots has done a really good job of that, leading the way.